Yeah, we're gonna do a keyboard replacement here on a Gateway laptop. It is a model number W340UI. You can see a couple keys are missing here. The way to get the keyboard off is to remove that top plate right under the screen. What I do is take a flathead screwdriver, I pry it off right at the hinges, but a smart thing to do first is, well, of course, take the battery out and then check to see if there's any screws on the underside of the computer holding in that plate. I'm going to zoom in here to give you a better view. And it looks like there's a couple screws, one there and one there that could possibly be holding that plate in. So if we try to pry it off, it might not come off if the screws are still in. So let's just get those screws out. And then there's two more screws that could possibly be holding that plate in. But most likely they're holding the hinges in. There's two other holes there. But so we'll try to pry the plate off. If it doesn't come off, we'll try removing those other screws. One way to do it is get right under the hinge with a flathead screwdriver and just kind of jiggle the plate and see if it comes off. If it comes off easily, you know you got all the screws out. And yes, there were two screws holding that in. Now we have easy access to the keyboard. There's usually screws on the top of the keyboard or it just flops over like that. I'm going to show you a close-up here of the actual ribbon connector and the ribbon cable. Just push those two sides. Usually, that's what all you have to do to get the keyboard ribbon out. Now we got a neat new keyboard here. And you push the ribbon back in the new keyboard. Sometimes it's easier to do it while the keyboard's laying flat like that. Whatever's easiest, those, those cables are not very long usually. I'm going to zoom back in here. You push that cable in and you clamp the two one side down and clamp the other side down. If you have nails, great. If not, use a screwdriver or preferably something non-metal. and push the keyboard back down flush. If there's no screws holding it in, then just replace the plate and the plate will hold it down. Make sure that the LCD cable is not in the way of that hinge cover. Make sure it fits over it just the way you got it off. Sometimes it could be a little tough getting these plates back on just perfectly, but they should snap in exactly the way they snapped off. Just make sure those cables are okay, not in the way. Everything looks okay. It might have been a tight fit in there in the, in the first place, so that might be why it's not working. Okay, there we go. Went on smooth. It's a good idea to have the battery out because since you're putting this plate back on, your fingers are all over the power button. You don't want it to keep turning on and off. Make sure it's flush and level. Then we're going to flip it around, put two screws back in. And that's how easy keyboard replacement is. Keyboards are very easy. And that's how you do a keyboard replacement on a gateway laptop. There you go.